Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and thanks for tuning in to episode 3 of my redesign series. If this is your first time here, hi, welcome, my name is Rajel and in this corner of the internet I make design and lifestyle related videos. If any of those topics interest you, consider subscribing and hit that bell for notifications. Now, I did say that this is episode 3 of my redesign series, so if you haven't gone and watched episode 1 yet, I'm going to leave a card up here that you could click on so you can get taken to the playlist of the redesign series, and I'm also going to leave it in the description box below. Now, in this episode, this is going to be a little bit different. Normally, from the last two videos, I went and redesigned a popular logo. Well, in this case scenario, I'm going to be redesigning a popular brand, but instead I'm going to emphasize solely on one of their products. Now, as the title says in this video, I'm going to be redesigning Starbucks. And for this, I wanted to um, redesign their holiday cups that they usually have annually. It's those red reusable cups. And since the holidays are coming up, I'm pretty pumped for it. And I think this would be a great one to do. For this design challenge, since it's more pattern based, I was thinking maybe I can make two designs, but I might go a little bit further and make three, but no more than that. The Starbucks Holiday Cups was an idea that popped up in August of 1997 while the design team was trying to come up with a holiday creative project for the upcoming holiday season. The first cups came in more jewel tone colors of sapphire, emerald, and amethyst, but also magenta. The Holiday Cups didn't become red until 1999 after debating exactly what color screams out Christmas. From there, that's when the traction for these cups grew. Now, fun fact, or I guess unfortunate fact, but some design files of the earlier cups actually got lost in an earthquake back in 2001. Now, every year, Starbucks revamps their holiday cup designs to celebrate this festive season. Through the years, they've sold out at stores, brought up controversies, and starting to push for environmentalism with making them reusable. It's no question that these cups are going to stick around for the long run. Hi again! So we have moved on to my sketchbook now. Um, before I let voiceover me take over while I'm sketching so I can let you guys know a little bit more about my process and what's inside of my head for my ideas, um, I want to go over Starbucks and their holiday cups. I don't need to write down any of the words onto my sketchbook because um, this is pretty straightforward. It's just pretty much anything that has to deal with the holidays and the feelings associated with Christmas time and holiday season. The only thing that I do want to say before voiceover me takes over um, is that I went ahead and I looked at all of the previous Starbucks cups through the years just so I can make sure that I'm not accidentally duplicating a current design that they've already made before. Um, so that was the only thing that I wanted to make sure of to not do when I, you know, redesign their patterns or just make up my own patterns for Starbucks. So, all right, now I'm ready to design. Let's go. Okay, so my first idea for the first design of these new patterns for Starbucks, um, this is the one that's going to be the closest to their actual like collection that they have for 2020. Um, I read the article and it was saying how their current holiday cups were inspired by ribbons that looked like washi tape. So they ended up just cutting out different patterns and then trying to wrap them around on the cup in different ways. So for that idea, I ended up going with Christmas lights. And instead of using like the ribbons or washi tape idea, I ended up thinking of just using the string lights. So I still have them kind of wrapped around on the page as if it would be wrapped around a Christmas tree. Now after I put down all the lights, I still thought that some more elements could be added to it instead of just that, just to make it look a lot better. So I thought of putting some little Christmas trees in the background, just because, you know, as I said, they are the Christmas lights that wraps around the trees, so I thought that would be a good um, embellishment. And then I kind of just added um, little squiggly lines as well as circles. It's almost as filler but it also kind of just adds a nice decorative element to it. Now I thought for the background items when I ended up putting it in to procreate on my iPad because that is what I'm going for for illustrating. I thought it'd be good to lower the opacity and put the lights 
more at the forefront of the designs. So I thought using the Procreate app was a lot more appropriate um, in comparison to using Adobe Illustrator to digitally sketch this out just because the way that I was drawing things out was a lot more curved. Um, I tend to have an easier time making things look a lot more smoother and painterly. More of my graphic design work, that's where I usually go for Adobe Illustrator. Okay, so then I moved on to my next design, which I plan for this one to be the most different out of the ones that I've worked on. I thought of making snowflakes this time and see how that would look arranged. The only thing is, around this time, I started to feel really lightheaded and fatigued for some odd reason. I think I might have been dehydrated during this time at some point. Um, I'm better now. I feel fine now, so nothing to worry about. I really did not like how these snowflakes were being drawn out at all on my sketchbook. Honestly, they look really bad. I mean, we can agree. We can agree. They look bad. Except I already knew that once I actually go and digitally sketch my designs, they turn out a lot better. I think maybe it was because I was also using a pencil in my designs. Um, that they just weren't coming out that great, so I switched to a pen for the last one. By the way, if you like my illustration style, um, I have an Instagram account where I mainly post my illustration work on there a lot, so if you're into that, I will have my username up in the corner so you can follow that and check it out. I decided to go with three designs because I just didn't think two was enough. So my last design, I thought of mistletoe. So I'm basically just arranging the components of the mistletoe to have a visually appealing looking composition. After I put out, you know, the branches, the leaves, the berries, I stuck with having some background of the circles. The first thing that I did was I grabbed uh, the color palette of the current Starbucks holiday cups that way I could still have that for some of my designs, especially for the first one, since I wanted that one actually more of as if it was a pattern that was part of the current collection that they have. So I kind of just tested out the colors to see how each color would look like on a certain background. For the first pattern design, I used the dark, the darkest green for the, um, the wiring, I guess, of the lights. And I use the lightest green and I use the red for the lights um, and I just kind of use the same colors throughout adding just a little bit of white at the tops of the light to just kind of elevate the look just a little bit after putting all of that in I just ended up putting little embellishments and decorative elements I guess um, in the background you know with the Christmas tree as well as the little you know the little squiggle line in the circles in the back Okay, so now we are moving on to the second pattern design, and that's the snowflake. So I just pulled up the image that I took of the different snowflake designs, and I tried to make it look a lot better. Um, I ended up using one of the useful tools of Procreate. It's basically um, a symmetry assist. So basically, if you just draw a certain thing on one side, it ends up doing it the same for the opposite direction. So it kind of saves a lot of time and just makes sure everything is symmetrical. I messed around with two snowflake designs at the end just because I wanted a little bit of variety and to see if I liked that one other than the ones that I drew out onto the sketchbook. Which I mean, I did like all of the snowflakes that I ended up creating, but in the end, for things to just, you know, um, I don't know, coexist, harmonize. It was the original four designs that I made that were in the sketchbook. So I ended up just kind of arranging it near the end. And for the color palette, I decided to make it completely different than the normal Starbucks palette. I already intentionally thought of that from the beginning. So I ended up just doing a navy blue background um, with the white snowflakes and the embellishments in the back to be kind of like this 
almost gold color. And then for the last one, I'm just arranging um, the wool mistletoe components for my third pattern. I ended up sticking with the same Starbucks color scheme. However, this was not inspired by any of their current designs, so it wouldn't even match with their collection that they have now. I um, tried adding a little more depth into the leaves by adding just little uh, stems in there. So yeah, those are all three of my designs. If you like this video, just let me know by giving this video a thumbs up and just comment down below if there's another popular brand you'd like to see me redesign next. Also, if you're interested and you really like my content, please support me on Ko-Fi by buying me a coffee. It's a one-time payment and helps me out with this channel as well as my other platform so I can keep improving and consistently create creative content for all of you. The link will be in the description below and I will greatly appreciate your support. So thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe so we can keep hanging out and I shall see you in the next video. Bye!